in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your unused or extra Wi-Fi router, how to convert that extra router into a switch or Wi-Fi access point or uh, maybe to Wi-Fi extender. So here's what is it going to look like. So this is my main router, the one I recently upgraded. And this is my unused one, the one that I'm going to use as a switch or as a Wi-Fi extender or repeater or something like that. On my main router, I have uh, open ports right here. This is my internet port that comes, that cable comes from the modem. And this is my switch port. So what I'm going to do after I'm going to set everything up, I'm going to have one of the cables coming from this port and it's going to plug in into one of the ports right over here. We're going to ignore internet port. Internet port, if we're going to plug in from one of those switch ports into the internet port, then it's going to create this like another router. And we don't want to do that. We just want to use it as a switch or a Wi-Fi extender or repeater. So at the end, this is what's going to look like. I'm going to have cable plugged in into the port number one on my main router and on this router I'm going to plug in into one or you can you can plug in into any of them but I'll all use as one so this is what is going to look like at the end one of the first thing we'll have to do we'll have to reset our extra router into factory default so I'm going to unplug from my main router first then I'll need a paper clip and I will need to find a reset button on the router on this router, reset button is specifically right over here. So I'm going to press on it and I will hold. You'll have to hold for a few seconds until you'll see lights changing or flickering on your uh, switch. See how all the lights came back on? You can release your pin and you'll just have to wait a little bit until it's going to power cycle, reboot. It's going to reset itself into factory default. That's what we wanted to do. We want to make sure we remove all the settings, uh, the ones that were previously set up. Once it's done, what we'll need to do, we'll need to plug in this router into a computer to configure. I'm going to use the same cable that I'll use for the main router. I'm going to plug in into my laptop. Once you have your cable plugged in, we need to click on start, type CMD, and open command prompt. In the command prompt, we need to type ipconfig and click enter. Right here, you can see the default gateway. This is the router's IP address. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna open internet browser. Right click here, paste and go. It took us to a router web interface. I'm just going to click continue and open unsecured network. Right here, I'm going to click check mark and continue. So now we need to log in into the router. A username is going to be by default admin and password admin. And click login. I'm not going to save the password. I'm going to put check mark here and click OK. So this is the basic setup of our router. So first thing we need to do, we need to disable DHCP server because DHCP server is enabled on our main router and we don't need two DHCP servers on our network because otherwise um, there's going to be IP conflict. This DHCP is going to be releasing IP addresses and the second on our main router is also going to be releasing IP addresses. So there's going to be conflict. So we're going to have to disable this. Let's save the settings for now. And then click continue. Then what we need to do, we need to change the IP address because by default, every home router is set up 192.168.1.1. So I know my DHCP on my main router starts, I think from a hundred. So I'm just going to change this one to number two. And I'm going to save settings. We'll have to wait like 80 seconds because it's going to reboot the router to apply configurations. 
now I need to log back in into the router, but I'll have to type the new IP address, the one we just set it up. So it's gonna be 192.168.1.2 instead of that one. So I can't access my router. It says unable to connect. So what happened whenever we disabled DHCP server, whenever we reboot the router, our computer released the IP address and after router booted up, it didn't actually uh, lease a new IP address to our computer. So in this case, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to set up IP address manually to our computer. Right click on your network adapter and click on open network and internet settings. Right here, click on ethernet and then click on change adapter options. Right here, right click on it and click on properties. Select internet protocol versions four and click on properties and right here uh, click on uh, use the following IP address and we're gonna assign uh, 192 uh, 168.1 and we can just do 100 uh, we're gonna leave the settings as a default and uh, right here we can actually leave everything as default and click OK and click close I'm gonna leave this window open because um, I'll reset the settings uh, once I will configure my router. So that way it's gonna be pulling IP address from my main router from main DHCP server. Minimize all this. And right here, let's try one more time. Now we can get to our web interface of our router. Let's log back in, admin, admin. Once we have this configured, we need to configure one more thing. If we would like to use this access point or uh, like an extender or something like that. So we need to click on wireless. And right here, we need to check manual. So right here, network mode, I'm gonna leave it mix. Network name, SSID, I'm gonna leave it the same as my main router. So it's uh, TechFi and uh, channel width. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on auto and channels on auto. And right here, enable uh, SSID broadcasting, so that way uh, computers can actually see this SSID. I'm gonna leave it enabled, and then I'm gonna click Save Settings. Click Continue. And now we need to set up a wireless password. So we're gonna click on Wireless Security. Right here, security mode is disabled. We need to enable it. I will set it to WPA2 personal because this is my home. And right here, passphrase. So this is gonna be your wireless password. I'm just gonna set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is just for uh, testing for demonstration purpose only. And then I'm gonna click save settings. And click continue. Now we need to unplug from our computer and plug it back in into our main router. So now we have everything set up properly and we have all the cables plugged in where they're supposed to be. Just to make sure, whenever you plug into your main router, plug into one of the switch ports and on your secondary router, the one that you're gonna be using as a switch or AP, make sure you don't plug in into the internet port. You just plug in into the switch port into one of those. And just to recap, Make sure you disable your DHCP server, set up IP address, make sure it's not dot one at the end, make sure it's something else, and then uh, set up your wireless and set up your uh, Wi-Fi password. And that's how easy it is to actually turn your old or unused router into a switch or uh, another extra AP or extra access point in your house. Thanks for watching.